Hey, we're back with another episode of Cancer Chats, and today we're going to talk about a hot topic. No, I got answers to some burning questions. I don't know, I have no bad puns left. We're going to talk about radiation and the realities of what it can be like. Okay, so today we're going to talk about radiation, like I said, and it's probably the best documented part of my journey thus far because I got really into kind of just trying to document what was going on with my skin during this entire process. Now, again, radiation can look different and be different depending on your diagnosis. So again, take this as just my story, but I did 30 rounds of radiation and was set up to run six weeks. I actually had to take some different breaks in there. Uh, because of how bad my skin got so it spilled over into being about seven weeks but i took some pictures along the way not only of me like i said but of just the setup because you'll hear me say very often on these videos that i just didn't know and about a year ago i just didn't know much about radiation and i don't find myself to be a particularly ignorant person uh I'm a youth group leader, so I, I feel like I know how to research and study and put together a lesson. I have my master's. I also teach college. And yet, when it comes to cancer and the treatments, there's just so much information. And it's so different from person to person. And you know what? TV never tells you the realities of radiation. Think about it. If someone ever gets cancer on a TV show, what happens? They go bald and they throw up. And that's essentially what I knew. I even have had family members um, go through cancer treatments. And I just wasn't aware. So today, let's just have this be a video about being aware of what can happen and does happen, at least sometimes, during radiation. So I'll pop up a couple pictures here and you can kind of see just how this went every day. And you go every day. At least I, I went every day. My, my time was always uh, 10 o'clock. And so I'd show up at 10 o'clock and I'd, and I'd get changed. I always had to put a gown on and I'd hang out in this room and wait for him to call me back to this machine. Uh, this last picture right here is actually me looking up at the machine and I would look up at this machine and I would get breath holds to do because for me my cancer was on my left breast and they were just incredibly um, detailed in how they were going to do the treatments because uh, they didn't want to get my lungs as much as they could help it but they didn't want to get my heart. That was the main thing. It's oddly enough better not to radiate your heart. So they tried to not radiate my heart. So I had different ways to breathe or sit or lay so they could try and just get the areas that needed to be radiated. And like I said, I took pictures. So you can see kind of at the beginning here, stuff didn't look that bad. It was kind of like a bit of a bad sunburn. I, I, I was told not to wear a bra during this time or wear my prosthesis. I did not have reconstruction after my mastectomy. I couldn't with my particular type of cancer. So they told me to hold off on wearing anything. You really didn't want um, this area not to be able to breathe. That wasn't hard. That didn't really affect my life too much. As this process went on, I was really good until I wasn't. And you can see a couple pictures here of just at the end and specifically the time that they call the boost. Um, they're going to get uh, a little narrower on the part that they're actually shooting with the, I call them sharks with lasers on their heads. There's no actual sharks at radiation. So if you're looking for them, I apologize. That was, that was me introducing some humor into um, a not particularly humorous situation. So they're not actually firing the lasers um, at the large area anymore. It was a very direct area right actually on my mastectomy scar. And that got really sore. But one thing they're really good at, and you got to tell them when you're going to radiation. Now, they'll see you every day. But tell them if you're not comfortable. Because we started off with this, um, Meoderm, which this was very helpful. But when this wasn't adequate, there's also Meoderm with the L, lidocaine. Helpful. You also get this cream, or I did at least, which was really helpful in kind of just calming some of it down, helping it not to sting as much. But you also get this cream, which was maybe made the big, biggest difference, but it also turns your skin kind of a funky color, so just be aware that that can happen. I was also itchy sometimes, so I was prescribed yet another cream. Probably one of the most helpful things was the astringent solution that I used on it. Then you could also have these gel sheets that maybe you'd put on it. And all of that could be wrapped up with what you see commonly for burn patients, right? You see, if you see when someone's got a burn on their arm, they have these sheets on there to hold, hold, I don't know, different solutions or gauze or whatever they have on there a little bit better. I got those to wrap around my body. I say all that not so you can take my advice with what I was given, but because there's a lot of things to help with radiation. Radiation, 
like I said, really wasn't a big deal until it was. And when it was, then there were hordes of things that the doctor and the nurses could give me to help the pain. And that really didn't last that long. That was probably only two weeks of stuff feeling pretty bad. And at that point, I kind of just laid in bed without a shirt on, using all my creams, uh, taking some pain meds and feeling a lot better. Now, like I said, also radiation could be very different. The time frame you go, when you go, how often you go, what exactly they're shooting, how much area they're radiating, is it internal radiation, is it external radiation? There's a lot of stuff. But for me, it was all external right here on what we were shooting. It wasn't a horrible experience. The pictures look way gnarly. I'm not even sure I remember it looking that bad, so I'm really glad I documented it. Know what you're going into if you have to get radiation. By all means, ask questions, because like I said, everything's different for each person, how our bodies react to it, what our cancer is doing. But then know if you're in pain that your doctor and nurses have a lot of good ideas up their sleeve to help alleviate that. And radiation is just another one of those cancer treatments that hopefully one day won't be quite as tough. But for right now, if it's taking care of cancer, I guess I don't mind doing it.